We got 7.45 ounces of salmon and just with a little bit of lemon and some Tabasco sauce. This has 44 grams of protein, not sure on the fat. It's one gram of fat per four ounces on this certain one, so uh, almost two grams of fat, probably no carbs. So just drinking on this protein shake that I made. It's got two bananas, 220 grams of banana in it, some ice, uh, four ounces of silk unsweetened almond milk, four ounces of 2% uh, milk, two scoops of Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard Whey Delicious Strawberry. Comparison of how big this shake is. That's the container of the whey. It's a two pound jug. That's a shaker cup. It won't even fit in this. It's way taller. What's going on guys? Here with a commentary for my chest and tricep day. It was kind of out of the blue. I was supposed to do legs, but I've been having really sharp pains in the back of my leg. But I started off with three sets of um, cable crossovers, supersetting that with just some normal push-ups. Did three sets. And yeah, I was just really out of it this whole week. I've been out of the gym for like four days. No particular reason why. I just really couldn't make the time, I guess. That could just be an excuse, but shit happens. Kind of a long video, but here warming up with the 50 pound dumbbells just on the flat. Usually, I switched it up this time. I always do incline and then I drop it down to flat to kill it off. But I figured to switch it up a bit and give my chest a little bit of a uh, kind of like a what the fuck factor. Not expecting it. Just switch it up every now and then. I did the 50, 55. 60 65 and I just jumped it up to the 70 but this was one of the weirdest sets I've ever had I struggled on the third one pumped out two more and then not oh, three and then on this one I struggled too it was just the weirdest placement for the grinders I don't understand it but after that I just did three sets of 10 on the 65s My weight's down to 162. I feel really flat. <clears throat> I feel like I lost a lot of size, but I don't know if it's just mentally getting to me. I can't wait to get back on a bulk and do this right. Last time I did a dirty bulk, I went from 145 to 198 was my highest weight, and that's when I just called it even and started cutting. My bulk was for about seven months and then I'm not really sure on how long I've been cutting. I haven't been keeping track of that. But after doing those flat I jumped it up to the incline, dropped down the weight to fifty fives, 
Really just focusing on the contraction of the tap. Going slow. Not just throwing weight around, but did the 55s after that. I believe I did only 45. Yeah. Don't need go lift, guys. It's all about just getting that volume in after your heavy sets. The most I ever done on incline bench was 85s, but that was for a single. It was pretty stupid. I just wanted to see if I was able to do it. 80s for, I believe it was 5. Yeah. I noticed that with dumbbells, though, when I throw them up over my shoulder, I have a really hard time trying to push it out to get into the starting position, but usually I get a spotter to do that for me, and then from there on I could pump them out myself. But after that, we just did some uh, arm extensions, some tricep extensions. Sorry. At this point, my triceps and my chest were already really worn out. <clears throat> So I kind of felt it in my shoulders a lot, not really necessarily on my triceps until further along the sides is when I started feeling it. This is actually my first chest video of the channel, so kind of happy about that. Hope you guys enjoyed the intro. Just got done doing a chest tricep workout. About to foam roll my back out because I've been having some really bad sciatic nerve pains. And my hamstrings is tight, tight. So, post pump. Hold up.